Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures of Spackman, the channel that brings you DIY gear, backpacking adventures, camping adventures, and all around outdoor adventures. If you like that sort of thing, think about hitting that subscribe button for more videos. Today, we're testing the heat power ceiling fan. Stick around, see how it works. All right, so I've had the fire going for about three hours now. So it's nice and warm in here. I'll show you the temperature at stove level where, where I'd be sleeping on my cot before I start the fan on the stove. And then, and then we'll get this test going. Currently it says it's uh, 64 degrees Fahrenheit, about 14 inches off the ground. No, 13 inches. It's the size of the wood that I cut. All right there. I cut for the stove and they're 13 inches long. So this is 13 inches high. Let's see. 64 degrees we're starting at. It's been down there for at least a half hour and it's been 64 for quite a while now. So I think it's time to start the, the test. See, it's currently not going. Just have it standing, sitting here. It's not hot, so it didn't just come off. So it is a, a clean test right now. It's nothing but hot air up there. I just set it on the corner so that the, the wires are far enough away from the stack. And let's start, let's see how long it takes. Oh, it's starting to move already. There it goes. It is. It's really hot up here. Okay, I literally just stopped it and started it again. Cause it's already, it's already at 66. So that was 30 seconds, maybe 30 seconds of the fan going. And it raised it two degrees. At least that's what it, that's what it seems like it, it did, right? I'm not sure if it was the fan or the stove just heated up that two degrees. I don't know. Now it's really going well. You can hear it. It's not that loud. It didn't bother me at all while we were sleeping last night. And I really feel like I was warmer down on the ground with that fan going than when I've been on the ground before without a fan. So I don't think it, what it does in this level, what we'll do a test over here too, like waist high on the table. We'll do a test with that. But I tested that a little bit last night, and I felt like it made that cooler, which is good, because it's really hot right here currently. So if it cools down right here but warms up down beneath, that's even better. Oh, let's, let's check it. 68. And it's been maybe two minutes. So it's raised at four degrees in two minutes. That's pretty cool. That's, that's, that's actually really cool. All right, I started the timer, and we'll just add two minutes to whatever time it, it is, okay? Two, and it will be an ish, an ish time, because I don't really know how long it's been. <laughs> Ugh, it, is, it is hot in here, like t-shirt sweating hot. It's hot in here. It's windy and chilly out. It's not cold. I, it's probably 34 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's holding right now. It's still at 68 and it's been maybe two and a half minutes so far. I, don't, I really want to open the door because it's too hot. I mean, it's 68 degrees almost on the ground. Let's see what it is on the ground. Oh, and for reference, that log that it's been sitting on is at least three feet away from the stove. I don't have a tape measure, but it, it's at least three feet. Holy cow. It, hold on. I think it got warmer. 
down on the floor. 70 degrees. Unless it was 70 up here and it just happened to change down here. I guess we'll see if it goes down. But if, it, if it's really 70 down on the ground, that definitely means that fan is blowing the hot air right down to the ground. That's cool. That is wicked cool. Because I have, I have spaces all around where there's air, and the door has many gaps in it right now. Plus, the vent is open at the top. And there's a space in between the sleeve and the pipe. Let's check it now. Still at 70. Oh, nope, 68. Okay. All right. So the 70 was from the log. So that means it went up six degrees at the log. Now let's see what it is on the ground. Maybe I, should, I don't want it on the ground. I'm going to put it on this log somehow. All right, I got it off the ground, and now it's, now it's two inches off the ground. You know what? I want to go back to the test on top of the log. <laughs> and then I never finished that. Obviously, it was still going up because it was at 70. So I'll put it back on the log and see what happens. I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, it's back up to 70. And it's only been 30 seconds. So we'll see how hot it gets down there. It's got to be... I, I, I mean, I got to put the, the thermometer all the way around here, but I, it's got to be 90 degrees right here, head level. And then a hundred something up by the fan. <laughs> I like, originally I had the fan on this side and I feel like it was just pulling cold air from the vent and just sucking it right down. So I moved it over by the, by the chimney. So it's actually pushing the heat from the chimney and all the heat gathering up there. So that's pretty cool. Still sitting at 70. We're up to 72. That's an eight degree difference. And it's probably been five minutes, I'd say, tops. So that's pretty cool. Would I say 10 degrees? No. Eight degrees. Eight degree difference. Now it's 73. Nine degree difference. That's pretty cool. If you can change the temperature down below, 10 degrees just by using the wood stove that's <laughs> that's pretty cool it's working pretty well I want to see what it will do if how high it will go so I'll get back to you and I'll say 10 minutes and then we'll move it around I hope I'm not shaking more than the fan is, but it's pretty windy outside and the pole shaking and the tent shaking, but the fan's pretty much staying still. It's not moving, but it's wobbling a little. Another thing, I have mine. I hope it hasn't moved. I have mine placed high enough that I can walk underneath it. I am five, six ish ish so make sure if you do this you have it set or you know not to go next to it <laughs> and get your head because they are metal blades they're not spinning that fast and there's not a lot of power but i don't know if it hurts your finger just don't do it <laughs> all right it's been 10 minutes and it's still at 73 it's holding at 73 so now i'm gonna put it down on the ground and see how warm it is down there. So I'll get back to you in 10 minutes and that should be at what temperature it is down there. Of course, it's starting at 73 because I just put it down there. So I'll be back in 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes and the temperature's dropped 10 degrees. Okay, the temperature hasn't dropped. The temperature down at the bottom is 63 after 10 minutes. We'll see if it continues to drop or if it if it's 63 degrees down there if it's 63 at the bottom and it's probably hold on I'm, I'm gonna check the weather and see what the temperature is outside so the weather says it's 34 degrees fahrenheit outside 
and that's the ground. If it's at 63 degrees, that's pretty cool. Then that fan is blowing a lot of hot air down to the ground, I'd say. You know what I wish I did? I wish I took a temperature of the bottom of the floor before I turned the fan on. So I think after I stop the testing of the, of the ground, I'll turn the fan off and then I'll set that back on the ground and see what the temperature is down there without the fan going. And I'll splice that in now. Okay, so I've left it down there for an hour and it's at 54 to four degrees. So that's a nine degree difference with the fan on at the ground. That's, that's pretty cool. And I'm sure if it was colder, that difference may be less, you know, because it's not it's not below freezing, it's just above freezing. Um, so that's cool. Alright, so it's been 20 minutes. I saw it go down to 61 and then it went up to 63 again. So that's definitely making it warmer down there for sure. It's gotta be. If anybody's hot tent before they know the ground is the coldest part of it. Yeah, Lila, hold on. All right, so I'd say this DIY ceiling fan works great. If you like this sort of thing, here's a playlist of DIY projects that I've done. On this side is a video that YouTube recommends just for you. And if you like this and you're not subscribed yet, hit this button in the middle. Thanks a lot, guys. See you in the next one.